Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I'm playing Star Made on the Star Squadron server. Come on, pop up. Ah, that one's close enough. Anyway, I'm on the Star Squadron server. And I'm, well, suitingly enough, I'm trying to fix errors. Oh, my wheel's gone! This is the brag. And you notice we have, or uh, last time we talked about invisible turrets. Apparently we have invisible elevators as well. I'm going to try something. The, the brag, I'm on using the brag because it was the only one in... Oh, I used light bars for these. Apparently they turned off. Um, anyway, it was the only one in teleportation range. I don't know where the Jackson is. Alright. So. Oh, this, look, this ship looks darker. Anyway. I want to know what happens if we jump. Let's say we jump back to Outpost Alpha. There we go. Will jumping bring my uh, turrets, my turrets and my wheels back in and elevators and shuttle and doors, my docked entities back in line? Alright, so 93.9 kilometers, I should be able to get that in a single jump on the server. A single player, that would take multiple jumps. But we have extra large sectors here on Star Squadron. Okay. Yep, we're charging. I might as well turn on the the uh... Oh, cool. Uh, let's see, where is it? G wheel. What happens if we turn on the wheel? Is that... No. Doesn't cause anything to work. Alright, that was worth a try. That is... The, the brag here is a ironclad, therefore it has a pedal wheel. Ah, there we go! Everything's back! Well, ain't that nifty. I can return my. Uh, we're gonna plot a path to the, to the, uh, back to the forge. So if you lose your turrets by a fleet coming back and forth, jumping will uh, bring them back. Well, ain't that spiffy? It's gonna be a pain in the backside, but if you have to move a fleet an enormous distance, it might be best to. Uh, move them, then actually get in and jump a sector away and back in your individually to get all the turrets showing back up. Of course, this also means I'm going to have to go find everything and see how far away is the forge. Seven kilometers. Let's see. There is the Jackson. And the Jackson is next. I wonder, I wonder if I could dock the Medusa to the, to the Jackson and both of them jump at the same time. I, we might try that. Alright. Slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm shouting slow down to the slowest ship in my fleet, and my repertoire even. Yeah, because Jackson lost all its turrets as well. Also, why couldn't I jump to the Jackson? Was I just out of range? And I don't want to be on gravity. And I don't want to take 16 years to get there. Uh, where am I? Alright. Because the Ironclad should have enough raw power to pull the Medusa as well. I don't know if the Medusa will have the same... Oh, I have my flashlight on. What's that weird light? Oh. Apparently I can't pick it up with a flashlight. That's strange. 
And I left that door open. Alright. Where is Medusa? Medusa is six, almost seven kilometers out. So let's boogie on over there, and as we boogie, I want to check my I'm boogie faster than that. Right, close enough. I check this. Is this not set up properly? Oh yeah. Uh. Okay. My keyboard has decided to change languages again. There we go. Starmate does that to it. Okay. Sweet. Jackson. Okay. Only three and a half clicks out now. I think I'm using that right. A kilometer click. I'm sure the comments will let me know. And... Was... Alright. That's, that's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Whatever you do, do not hit that ship. Thank you. Just move really, really, really slow and try to stop. Or no, de decelerate really, really slow. Why do stations have thruster plume uh, animations? I don't recall putting any thrusters on on the forge. Uh, uh, that's good enough for right there. Because we're going to dock the Medusa to the Jackson. I didn't lose the lifeboat. I lost everything else, but not the lifeboat. That's strange. Or that turret. Wait a minute. All these turrets are back. Alright, that's strange. Even the elevator. Well, I'm not going to complain too much. Alright. In fact, I'm just going to leave that there. We aren't going to fiddle with the Jackson now, then. We will, however, fiddle with the Medusa. And I don't want to take the long way in, so I'm going to cheat. By cutting in through the side. Oh no, how terrible. Yeah, yeah, it's my ship. Do what I want. Alright. And let's sit down, because I just have a feeling this is going to be the ship that decides to fling me in outer space if I don't. Uh, have you restored any? Not yet. Alright, so let's set a low point, low point, a waypoint to the outpost alpha. Wow, this thing has a slow jump drive charge. Slow jump drive charge. I've still never found those, those tin defense orbs I launched near the forge, they're just gone. Hopefully they're out roaming the universe killing pirates. That's what I like to imagine them to be doing. I just want to bring the Duso up close to the to the uh, forge. Why do you want to bring the Medusa up close to the forge? Well, because... Ah, there we go. Closer to the forge. I was out of range of cargo. I'm not anymore, so let's slow our roll. Because I want to make sure this thing has a transporter in it. Alright. And do I have... I don't have computers, just modules. Alright. Jump point exactly in range. Warping immediately there. And... I have my turrets back. Well, parts of my turrets back. I have the base of the turrets back. My shuttle. Oh, well, I have all the, that turret back. The elevators. Elevator. Yeah, got that elevator. And... What's with me these long ships and long hallways? Got that elevator. If I jump back, will I pick up the rest of everything? Well, we'll see. What is that? Oh, that's that fighter that's been out here forever. Okay. Good job, fighter. Keep on 
fighting. That's a rock. I think I agree with Chase Machine. There needs to be a way to up the font on these. Some of this writing's too small. I mean, I'm nearsighted, but man. All right, we are charged, and we are jumping back to the forge. And we're still missing turret barrels, but we have the bulk of everything back. Hmm. That's interesting. At least we have our anti-missile turrets back, and there's, I know that one isn't actually missing. I actually took that out for this edition. I didn't want so many docked entities on, on something I was loading to a uh, multiplayer server. What do you mean? What about the uh, Ironclad? That has a ton of docked entities. Yeah, I took out half of them. Okay. So originally they were missile turrets on the sides instead of the side-firing uh, missile beams. Missile beams. Uh, missile computers. I think they're Damage missile. No, no, they they have a single block of damage pulse. The, just to give them the smart capacity, capability, capacity, whatever. Right. Slow down, slow down, slow down. What is that? Oh, that's the rest of the forge. E. Ironclad has a little power. All right. I want to bring this one closer to the forge because I'm going to have to walk. Okay, so that was an interesting experiment. Looks like if you jump, you get most of your turrets back. Well, minus these bits and my shuttle. Uh, that means I'm going to have to pace Finn now. All right. All right, I've been JW608. This has been StarMade and an attempt to figure out why this happens. Or not why it happens, but how to fix it. Uh, I don't know how well that went. Anyway, I've been JW608. This has been StarMade, and I will dig you cats later.